Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, the presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to judge the latest midweek car competition, which ran from the 13th to the 19th of August 2020. And just before I hand over to Alex, our lawyer this morning, once again, massive congratulations to last week's midweek car competition winner, David Roden, winning that fantastic MSRT custom transit van and £10,000. I'm now going to pass over to Alex Evans from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. Thanks, Christian. My name's Alex Evans from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that all the competition data has been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like the judges to introduce themselves, and using the secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the centre of the ball should be. Then, at the end, each judge will justify their position and the group will then come to a final panel decision. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer, having played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. I'm Nigel Hicks. I am a uh, Supply League match official for the best part of 30 years, and I'm also an experienced football administrator. Good morning, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee mentor, tutor and observer. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and I'm now a senior county referee. Good morning, my name is Peter Giorgio. I am a football and futsal referee. Good morning, my name's Roger Wheeler. I'm a referee and I've been refereeing and lining for more than 30 years. Alan, please now talk us through your decision. Yeah, uh, thanks Alex. Uh, yeah, we've got two players in the shot, uh, one player with a green shirt, which, uh, who is in the, in the foreground and uh, a player with a white shirt in the background. I think the ball is going from the left hand side uh the player with the green shirt will probably play it uh as you can see he's twisted his upper body so i think he's uh he's uh he's adjusting i, I guess his body to uh receive the ball uh it looks like maybe he's, he was expecting the ball on the on uh on his left side and then you know he's uh it changes uh it changes run uh to be able to control it um the the player in the background with the white shirt uh, is looking intensely at the ball, but I don't think yeah he might want to anticipate, but I think it's too far to get the ball. Um, on uh, yeah, the, the playing with the green shirt, I think I think it's do, it's looking slightly, very slightly below horizontal, uh, while the player uh, in white is a bit you know uh, higher or uh, standing uh, and then he's therefore he's looking a bit you know uh, downwards uh, so uh, cross-referencing both eye lines uh, I decided uh, that the center of the ball was where I put my cross. Thanks Alan. Nigel please talk us through your decision. Uh, thank you good morning everyone so as Alan says uh, players looking across at the ball uh, we got good sight of uh, two pairs of eyes uh, I felt the uh, player, I, I feel that it's a three-dimensional picture, so I feel the player behind is uh, in white is looking uh, slightly at, a, at an angle to the player in green who's looking almost directly across at the ball. Um, I think we can see the eyelids of the player in white, so I feel he's looking down slightly and uh, not too sure about the direction of travel for the ball. Um, neither player looks like he is uh, about to receive it, but... Uh, you know, that's why I put my cross where I have. Thanks, Nigel. Hugh, please talk us through your decision. Yeah, uh, mine is the blue cross for me. Two players in shot. Uh, the player in white in the background. Um, for me, he's looking down, um, quite focused on the ball. Wasn't too sure if he's pulling the arm of the green player, um, which is why he's got kind of an unusual body position, one arm behind, one in front. Um, and I just felt that the player in green was looking down. I, I don't think it's as close as obviously the cross looks to them, but the ball's in the foreground, a little distance away from them because neither of them started to look to play it yet. 
Um, so where both of their eye lines match, that's where I put the centre of the ball as my blue cross. Thanks, Hugh. Kieran, please justify your position. Thanks, Alex. Um, we've got the two players in shot. Player in green, um, I think, is the one who's most likely to receive the ball. And he seems to be positioning himself to receive the ball. I think he's put his arm behind his back to hold off the player in white, possibly. Um, maybe he feels that he's coming towards him. Um, he's got a furrow brow. His head's looking slightly, his head's position is slightly leaning forward, slightly downwards, which is why I've got my cross a little lower than the other, um, my other colleagues. Um, I think that the ball is going to come into him and he's going to position himself to receive the ball. Um, I think the player in white is just on looking, but I've taken the eye lines from both players to justify uh, my positioning of the orange cross. Thanks, Kieran. Peter, please justify your position. Yes, uh, mine is the grey cross, which is closest to the green player. Uh, yes, two players in shot. The player in the foreground, uh, I think he's favourite for the ball. In the background, you've got the player in white looking on a bit further away. Uh, but he has got, a, uh, he's concentrating, he's got a good facial expression and, and indicating with his eyes looking down. Uh, I actually think the, the ball itself is not coming into the players. I think it's actually bounced up because of the, of the body language of the, the green player. It's, it's neither one thing nor the other. Uh, I don't think it's going to be heading the ball. I just think it's just bounced up and then they're both just looking at the ball. And um, where I've cross-referenced the eye lines of the player in, in green and the player in... Uh, right behind and that's where I put the centre of the ball is where my uh, grey cross is. Thanks Peter. And Roger, please talk us through your decision. Yes, good morning. Um, well as my colleagues have said, we've only got two players here, both concentrating on the ball. For me, uh, mine is the purple cross. Um, for me, the, the player in green is sort of gearing up to uh, get involved there with his body shape. Um, I feel he's definitely looking down at the ball, which is why I'm in the um, the bottom three set of crosses. Um, and he's, he seems to have a sort of clear, clear look at it to me. And the, the player in the background is also, um, he, he's pretty, pretty clean as well. So where, where their eyes cross um, is where I've put my purple cross. Judges, please now come to a final panel decision. For your information, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the six individual selections. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Um, yeah, today we've got quite a, a wide spread. Um, I'm gonna start with drawing a few lines. Okay. Um, yeah. No, we've got yeah. Uh, we've got three uh, crosses a bit lower and uh, nearly in line, and three uh, a bit higher uh, also uh, nearly in line. Um, looking at it, I, I thought personally that you know the, this player was not looking you know uh, that low. Uh, you know, if I put the magnifier uh, on his eye, uh, as, as I said, I thought he was looking you know slightly. Uh, Below horizontal, but you know, uh, not 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 that low. So um, yeah. So as I said, we've got you know a, a line of three crosses here uh, where you guys thought you know probably that you know this player was uh, looking you know uh, lower. Uh, I'm going to start with Roger. Uh, what were you thought on on that? You know, if I put the magnifier on, on his eye, uh, uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, Alain. I. <laughs> I was convinced he was looking down, you know, the, and the ball was possibly possibly bouncing up. But uh, okay. I definitely had him looking down. Um, I, I still believe that's the case. Uh, I think he's he's looking sort of further down than than across. Okay. Maybe not quite as low as I had him, but. Um, mm. 
yeah, as I say, I'm 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 still convinced he's he's uh, the the ball is coming up from uh, somewhere below, and and that's what he's focusing on. Right. Okay. Okay. P P Peter, you are on the on the on the opposite. Uh, you know, obviously, you are closer to the plane uh, in green, and uh, and higher uh, than him. So. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. I, I just thought it was close. It's just the, the body language of the players didn't seem to me it was um, a, a, a flying ball into into the players. It was just it's just coming up from from below, and the way the guy has got his head tilted slightly down, you can see the uh, frown on his head, and then his eyelids are at the top rather than sort of looking in in through the the eyebrows, and that's where I. I thought that it was a better horizontal, not just just horizontal, just below it. And again, using the player behind in in white because he's that far away. I, I just thought mm. that um, his peripheral vision uh, would suit where my centre of the ball is. So that's where I uh, okay. was close to the player. Okay, you 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 both mentioned that you know you thought the ball you know, was bouncing and, you know, uh, coming up was probably on, on its way up. Um, uh, the thing, I, I don't think it's, it, it changes much, you know, uh, in the, uh, you know, uh, with regards to the, the direction, you know, the, these two players are, are looking. If, you, if we look at the, the player uh, in white, uh, I think it's, you know, it's, uh, it's quite, there's a bit of distance actually between the two players. And it's a bit more subjective because, you know, depending on how far uh, he is from the, the, the playing green, uh, he would impact on, you know, the, the, the position of, of the ball, basically. So uh, I think, you know, we, we should, you know, uh, focus mainly on the playing green. Um, at the moment, you know, the average, you know, is in between the, these two lines. And, uh, and if we look uh, closely, uh, you know, each uh, you know each cross uh, is cancelled by, by by an opposite one. Uh, if it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, if we look at Nigel, uh, uh, we've got uh, Hugh. Uh, yeah. You know, they cancelled each other. Then we've got myself and uh, and Kiran, and we've got um, Peter and uh, Roger. So uh, you know, based on that, you know, the average would work. Uh, and I can't see, uh, you know, uh, when you look at Peter, uh, I, I think this could work, you know, uh, and, you know, if we look at the opposite also, uh, Roger, uh, I think, you know, this also could work to me. So, um, uh, Kieran, so you, uh, you are a bit, you know, uh, you're on the on the lower part also. Uh, so, so what do you think, you know, about you know the average? Yeah, I think you've summarised it quite well there. I think we've got uh, three pairs of opposites there, and as you mentioned them there, that they seem to um, cook, uh, cancel each other out, if you like. Each, yeah. Uh, and, and I think also it's justifiable to say where those positions are. I mean, personally for me. I think the player in green's head is slightly leaning forward. His body, his shoulders are further forward than his waist. And he, I think he's looking um, a little bit downwards. But yeah. um, I can see how what other people have seen uh, to justify their positions. Um, I don't think there's, you can't say there are sort of three or four that are in one area. So I think your justification for having the, um, uh, the, the average, to judge your average, I think would be correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks, Kieran. So what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to do a few lines, you know, towards the average. Just to see, let's, let's take it from his nose, actually. Yeah, it's a bit messy with the, all these lines, but you know, if I, what I'll do actually, I, I'll remove all the lines. And if I put the, the, the center of the ball here, Okay. Mm. You know, I think you know, I, st I still, you know, think that you know the, the the ball is a bit higher than that. But uh, I think it's you know uh, it, it works as as an average. Um, it, is okay. I, I know Kieran, you're happy with that. What about you, uh, Hugh? 
Yeah, no, I think I, I took more, I think, from the playing Green's right eye. Um, to me, that, that was looking more down than the other one that I agree with you. It does look, does look like it's horizontal. And I think that we've got uh, three at the top and one cancels it out. But like we always talk about, where the average then is, is feasible. Not that we need to, to talk about what we may remove, but I think where we've got it at the ball could very easily be based on where those two are looking. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, Peter, are you happy with the average as it is? Yeah, I think, I think um, with the three below and the three above and then left to right, three, three, it, it, the average does, does work, but I, I, I still think it's slightly okay all right okay so uh nigel happy yeah happy? yeah I agree, I agree with my colleagues i think i mean i do feel that the ball is slightly high but i think the average works fine and it's clearly it's it's uh centered around that main group of four and if you took either of the outliers out you'd need to take them both out for balance i think so, so and it would bring it back to there so that's fine yeah okay perfect okay so if roger roger are you happy also with the average Yes, as as uh, Nigel said, if if you you take the two extremes out, I think the average would still be pretty much uh, yeah. where it is at the moment. Yeah. Um, and we've got two banks of three. If we had a four and a two or a five and a one, it might be a different story. But uh, yeah, the average looks good to me. Okay, excellent. Okay, so um, all right, we're going to judge with the average then. Okay, Alex, we're happy with this uh, decision. Great. Thank you, judges. If you're all happy, Alan, please click Submit. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are 9021201. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform best of the best. That concludes the judging process. Thank you all.